Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Watch your mind watching the breath. In other words, be sensitive to what you're doing. This is the quality the Buddha calls alertness. It's not simply noticing what's happening when it's happening. It's noticing what you're doing while you're doing it and seeing the results that you're getting. Because after all, our life is made up of old karma and new karma. Old karma is a pretty big mystery. There's a lot in our karmic background that we have no knowledge of at all. But we can know what we're doing in the present moment. That allows us to make improvements in the present moment. The problem is most people don't take advantage of that fact. They let their present intentions go on automatic pilot, or they let their attention go someplace else. It's like the owner of a factory abandoning the head office and just letting the underlings decide what to do. And sometimes they'll decide things in line with the true well-being of the corporation, sometimes not. If you really want to know what's going on, if you really want to be in charge and make a difference, a good difference in what your life is going to be like, you have to be on top of things. Like the CEO who stays in the factory, inspects the work that's going on, and can make adjustments when, when needed, in time. In other words, you can't be traveling around an awful lot. So you stay right here. This is where you're responsible, so this is where you should be. As for the world outside, the world outside goes a lot in its own way. The way that world is going to touch you, though, is going to be dependent on what you do and what you've done. Again, what you've done in the past, You don't really know it. It'll come up and it'll show itself, but you don't know ahead of time. But you can make a difference about how you deal with those things as they come up, and you can make a difference in what you're creating for the future, if you stay right here. So this is where you belong. You're anchored with the breath, so you can give the mind a good place to stay. And also to make sure that it stays in the present moment. Because that's what its work has to be done.